Hi, I'm Kimberly Barnado. I'm here at the Elberson Fine Arts Center on the campus of Salem Academy and College. I want to introduce you to an artist exhibition. Ollie Singleton has a show that is a, basically a biography of her work, and I think you need to see it in person, so we're going to give you a sneak peek. Come on inside. Here we are inside the Elberson Fine Arts Center. I first met Ollie Singleton when she asked me to curate her exhibition for the Fine Arts Center that showcases eclectic works she has done over decades. Let's take a sneak peek. Ollie Singleton's work spans decades of her experiences, experiences with place, ancestry, memories, nostalgia, in a way that we all can relate to it. Her story is unique, but we all have those family stories, those history stories, the way we connect to family, ancestry, to nature. Her work follows memories, dreams, landscapes of foggy memories past. I think we can all relate to that nostalgia of what it was like to visit the grandparents, what it was like when family came together. And you'll see the symbols of her memory in her pieces. When you look closely, a story evolves in Ollie's work. You will see the inklings, the impressions of place, memories of people. And all of us have those. All of us have this experience. Ollie's work centers so much on family that I want to show you the centerpiece of her heart, what really drew her to create these, this body of work. Ollie's body of work is inspired by the land that her grandfather farmed. She remembers this land from her childhood, and one of the centerpieces of that land was her grandfather's repair shop. That centerpiece that brought family together, it spoke of ancestry, it spoke of the hard work that her grandfather did in terms of working the land and his connection with family. Uh, that shed eventually succumb to the nature, the environment, when the old wood and all was sucked back down into the earth back in 2007. Ollie made a pledge that she would take possession of that wood. Ollie had always loved old wood. There was always something about the nature of texture that wood would have when nature took a hold of it but then this wood was even more special because this wood was wood that actually had the soul of her grandfather's land as we walk through ollie's exhibition you will see that her paintings some created on the actual wood it was a part of the shed. Over here, she has turned the wood from the old shed into something totally new, giving it a new rebirth, like an upcycling. That shed now continues to live. We felt it so important for this exhibition that we wanted the shed to be a centerpiece of Ollie's exhibition. She tells the story of the shed in a poem that she wrote that honors her ancestry, the land, the heritage. We just took a snippet of this poem so that you could be intrigued. All of us have these types of memories. Our, all of our minds wander to a place of nostalgia. And that's what Ollie's work does. As you continue through this vestibule here of her work, you do see that we end 
with respectable display, respectable piling of the wood that was once a shed. representing coming home and she gathered these precious pieces of wood these weathered pieces of wood as a memorial to the heritage and ancestry of family and land 